I'm Robin Swithinbank, watch critic and editor of The Jackal magazine. And today we're talking about Bell & Ross watches. Bell & Ross is a fascinating company. They came to watchmaking with very different aspirations. A company that makes its watches in Switzerland, that it's actually based in Paris. Its watches are often bold and experiential and are much closer in spirit to Daft Punk than to Place Vendôme. They set about trying to create these very strong masculine watches which could be worn by bomb disposal experts and firemen. They found a real niche with, uh, with pilots in particular though. And they became particularly famous producing these oversized, square-cased, cockpit-inspired watches. This was the BR01, which I think became one of the most iconic watches of that mid noughties period. The BR03, which is a slightly smaller version of the BR01, it has a black ceramic case, black dial, black hands, black numerals. This is a very bold, stealthy piece of watch design. There are lots of steel-cased versions as well. This is a GMT version of the BR03. And when you see it in steel, with some of the edges are polished and some of them are brushed, it has this incredible three-dimensional quality to it. You really see the, the confidence of the design. And one of the collections which I think has made them famous is the, uh, the vintage WW1 line, watches that are inspired by the, the look and feel and the design of First World War watches. Officers, they took their pocket watches and they soldered wire loop lugs to the case so that they could then thread a strap through it and wear it on their wrist. Although Bell & Ross is very much known as a, a pilot's watch brand, uh, if you dig a little bit further, they, uh, they do some wonderful sports watches as well. This, uh, this watch, the BR123, uh, is a three-hand automatic with a date. So you get all these lovely layers of designs. So you have the sand-coloured numerals and the sand-coloured hands, but then you have a, a little bit of red script, which is a nice sort of subtle detail. The, the, the attention that they've paid to merging the case with this bubble sapphire crystal, uh, a very deliberate design statement. This is actually a 126 chronograph flyback, which means that when you start the chronograph running, you can reset it and restart it simply by pressing one of the buttons. Again, it's incredibly easy to read, but it's also very beautifully designed. There are lots of rose gold elements on this watch, which contrast beautifully with the black dial, the black slimline bezel, and then this tanned leather strap. Ben & Ross is, is a design obsessive. Very simple, but very elegant, and very classy sports watches. 